Normally a school sports centre, this is now a home for hundreds. Among them is Victoria and her nine-year-old son. I uh, left Borodyanka three days early because there are uh, Russian troops now and they are killing people. A lot of houses are destroyed and some of my friends uh, died. And there is humanitarian crisis also. People don't have water, food, uh, there is no light, no internet and no a uh, mobile connection. Around 170 refugees are currently sleeping here. Since the start of the conflict, more than 4,000 have used this facility. It's a place to rest and recuperate before planning their next step. Just a few miles along the road in Pshemish, more than 35,000 people are arriving every day, more than half this city's population. The mayor here says he's proud of his people. I just, I just say to people, you know, we need the help. And after one hour, we have maybe 500 volunteers in, in this place. So it's a very huge response for the people. This former supermarket in the city is also hosting refugees. Alexandra started volunteering here last night. I come here to, to help because um, for me as a mom it's uh, heartbreaking that the women are um, here and uh, without anything and they're leaving their homes and uh, yeah it's no words to say. Gabriela is also among those helping. Having lived in Inverness for 10 years she's now coordinating some of the aid effort from Scotland. I'm trying to help organize some transport and uh, uh, from Scotland and England. I've got friends over there as well. I'm trying to uh, like uh, do other stuff like doing shopping, bringing it here, organizing some help like transport from Scotland uh, of the goods uh, from Scotland. Thank you so much of a friend of mine. Places like this don't yet know how many more people will come through their doors. But what the people here do know is that they'll continue helping them for however long it takes. We are happy we are here, we are happy we are alive, but we hope to come back home soon. Louise Hosey, STV News.